my friends so today we're going to talk about content creation you know you've heard I'm sure you've heard post daily you got to create content you got to keep posting you got to keep active you got to keep engagement going you got to keep all that going you've heard all that and just like me once in a while you're like okay what do I post today like how do I figure out the content that I need to post right what do I got to do to post the content and how do I know what the right content is so how do you figure that out we're going to talk about that in just a second but first this so the real question is this what are the strategies techniques and tools that you need to learn to generate residual income from the e-learning boom that's happening right now my name is Jean-Serge Gagnon and welcome to Course Income Secrets so this is what you need to do we tell you you've been learning you've been going online you've been you've been trying to build a business online you're trying to sell a course you're trying to to do all that build a fan base and they tell you you gotta post every single day right now I'm not saying that you have to do that I'm just saying if that's the kind of you know training or the kind of the kind of things that you've been told to do it's not a bad thing but sometimes if you if you, and if you decide you know like me if I decided to post daily I've got to come up with a topic every day right and if you're deciding to post daily then that's where the struggle comes you can also change you can decide I'm just going to post once a week right and that, <laughs> that's one of the things that I've been uh, looking into as well right is just changing my my posting strategy to be once a week and you know changing how I do things and but let's say you want to keep going daily and and even if you do it weekly you still can come to that point where you're like okay what do I talk about today for me that's actually one of those days and and that kind of made me realize well why don't I just talk about how to figure out what you post right and that's one of the things that works for me but it doesn't necessarily mean that it works for you okay so the first thing the, so the first thing you want to do is you want to figure out what your audience is interested in for me it's all about building an audience making sales creating courses generating courses so what is my audience interested in <clears throat> is that stuff so when I look for example <clears throat> through my um Aweber uh, open rates um I get lots of people opening when I talk about my uh clicky course website so so I've been kind of trying to create some content around that because people like to know what's going on where I'm at what the next step is what are the features that kind of stuff right but that's my audience <clears throat> your audience isn't necessarily into courses right they're not necessarily in course creation you might be trying to you might be trying to sell uh, a supplement you might be in a, in a network marketing business you might be trying to write a book and sell your book you might be a realtor all these different things have different content strategies right but it's still you still have the question of how do you know what to post well the first thing you got to do is like I said is figure out your audience what does your what's your audience interested in if you don't know what your audience is interested in you probably have to go back to the drawing board and figure that out because there's lots of things like if you look at this this board that I have behind me I mean I this is my 12 my 12 steps to your online success right the the, the 12 step ebook <coughs> if you go to my blog actually let me show you what that's what we're talking about here <coughs> sorry about my throat I <coughs> I have a, a a cat in my throat is it or a frog or I don't know what you call it in English in French it's a frog <laughs> we have a we have a no in French it's a cat actually in French we have a cat in our throat and I think in English it's a frog right so anyways uh let me just share my screen here uh go go to here I want to share my screen do, 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 do. new uh, window <coughs> open that up over here and we're going to go to my blog my blog is jeansergegagnon.com so I just want to show you uh let's move that uh, camera out of the way here because I gotta go there my desktop okay so if you go to my blog it's loading up right now uh you can uh I, I anyways yeah, I post daily right but this is what I'm talking about right here the 12 steps to your critical success right here 
this ebook is basically an ebook on what you need to do first to get to the right content right if you're trying to figure out the content for your audience you want to have let me move my my webcam out of the way here <clears throat> so I mean you want to know you want to first define your audience you know who is your audience what is the actual product that you're promoting what is your one thing who's your avatar who's your uh ideal customer who's your um you know anyways th this is basically a 12 steps to your critical success it talks about what you need to do and that's the first step you got to figure out what your audience is interested in because if you're just creating content random content and when I started I know four years ago when I started I was basically posting about everything <laughs> and that's what I had I had created a, a page called success with js which I by the way still exists you can still go to success with js if you want and you know last post there is like two years ago or something but what I was posting there when I first started was basically success tips you know success relationship parenting uh business building making generating income uh, all these different uh success tips which is great uh but the thing is that it's not focused enough you know you 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 dilute yourself so you got to be really focused how do you figure out how to be focused this is what this is about okay I'm not I'm this is enough of the sales pitch but the point is that if you don't know what your audience is interested in you're always going to struggle to create content once you know what your audience is interested in you can search for different topics you can come up with a list of things you can do google searches for what your audience is interested in you can you can go look at what other people are doing in in the in the industry you're in in the industry you're, in, you're interested in you can go look I mean you can do all sorts of searches to go find stuff right and you know you can do different kinds of content right you can do a blog post you can do a video you can do image posts you can do podcasts right like if you're listening to this in a podcast you can go check out the video if you want to see what I'm showing here you know the the 12 critical steps to online success at here let's put the link on here just to see if we get it the 12 step link so basically it's online success 12 steps.com so online success and then the number one and two and then steps with an s.com so online success 12 steps.com if you're listening to the audio if you're watching the video obviously you can see the link on the screen there but let's so let's just uh so so this is this is your first step into figuring out what you need to be posting like if you don't know okay what am I going to post today well just think about just think about what your um <clears throat> what your uh, you know audience is interested in and if you're not sure what your audience is interested in then you gotta figure figure that out without that you can't you can't really figure it out but if you're wanting to create um you know quote images let's say for example you go to canva.com that's a free site you can actually create an account on there for free um, I usually use my Facebook login to just create accounts so that way they have my profile picture I don't have to worry about the email and all this so I'm not sure why my computer is so slow right now maybe it's the internet that's slow but okay so the first time you go there you get this uh, there's there obviously they want you to try Canva Pro they got a they got a paid plan I'm just on the free plan and if we can get this screen to kind of clear up here I'm not sure why it's so 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 slow there it is uh over here you can see I'm logged in and actually let me move that a tiny little bit there so and if I go into let's just say I want to create a new design let's say I want to post an inspirational image that has to do with my audience right so I can go here create a design and I can say for example oh let's get rid of that uh, link sorry 12 step link okay so <laughs> and then I can choose say for example I want to create an Instagram post right an image so it'll start with a uh, blank well not a blank well is it blank yeah it'll be blank when you click on there it'll be blank but then you can use templates and you can use uh look at that coronavirus Instagram post a sustainable response we salute our frontliners oh well let's just do that let's say I want to do this <coughs> I just tap on it it loads up the whole thing and you know um I'm not really sure this this hospital that would be the company name I suppose let's just replace that I'm gonna put uh Jean whoops 
Jean-Serge Gagnon right there uh thank you for services you are all heroes and there you go so I mean I could just post that just like that right um and you can do other things like let's say I want to post this I can just click on these right it actually says recently used so if I go down let's say I look at lust, love Instagram food animated Instagram sales uh, birthday summer let's just look to see if there's anything that has to do with um I don't use usually use this but let's just go in here inspiration there must be an inspiration I can actually just do this success well let's just look for success there you go how about this one turn challenges into and whoops it just oh that's because I had the text that I actually replaced here let's just do that whoops what happened there there turn challenges into changes and stress into success I like that right so let's just say I want to change this uh, color I want to change the background color and go in here I can change the background color to let's say this pink or maybe this blue this blue here actually I like it I like this red turn challenges okay then I can go here these guys here I probably have I'm not really sure if they're going to be Hmm. <clears throat> maybe I can make these I guess I could do probably more than one at the same time right let's make them all white like that there we go so now I'm just doing this this is one post one idea right if you're not sure what to post go ahead and go and create an image in canva so this is let's say I just created this image I'm just going to add I can add myself a, um, a logo for me let's say I add a text here I'm going to say just a little bit of body text and I'm going to move it down to the bottom here and I'm going to put Jean oops Jean 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 Serge Gagnon.com right so that's my blog I'm going to make this uh, blue let's say I make it blue no that's not gonna work that's too uh whoops I just gotta make sure that I put the right color in here hold on if I can <clears throat> my computer is really slow for some reason there you go no I didn't click the right thing okay there we go so let's make this a different color that's not gonna work let's make it white how does white look there so that looks fine jeansergegagnon.com there you go and I'll just do that I mean obviously you would want to have a logo you want to use the same thing I haven't really done this too much so I'm just going to go like this then I go download <coughs> png suggested I'll just uh, download I don't need to pay I just want the don't pay for images can unlock so I just want the normal oh that's interesting they 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 change things now they don't let you da download oh this is new maybe I can just do jpeg no oh so they decided that you can't download anymore <coughs> well that's interesting well I can do this I can just take this screenshot thing obviously that's not okay and if you're trying to but let's just do that and I'm going to save this as a let's go to my downloads I'm just going to save it here I'll just call it capture it doesn't really matter it's going to replace it sure and then I'm going to go oh I can't actually I on my computer <coughs> you can't upload to IG right so into Instagram so let's go to LinkedIn I'm going to go to LinkedIn and I'm going to post there right so that's kind of what that's kind of what you do right you take an image and you share it on your platform so I'm going to go here and I'm just going to start a post and I'm going to put the image I have right here and let's select images 
in my downloads downloads this one here there we go <coughs> and I'm just going to do that I'm not going to worry about putting text in this case I'll just post it and see and there you go so now I posted something today on my on my on my LinkedIn right now right I could do the same on Facebook and that's one way to find something to post you can just do a, an inspirational quote some sort of a con as you can see in Canva that that's interesting this is new that they don't allow you to download for free it used to be you could download for free maybe you can change the size no you can't do anything what about a smaller file you can't do anything <clears throat> anymore for free <laughs> that's crazy companies are all really starting to be um they're really starting to break down there's another company that uh, went to paid plan from free before right um so interesting anyways though that's one of the other thing you can do too is you can actually go to uh unsplash so unsplash.com right <coughs> and unsplash.com again you can log in here and it just keeps track of which images you've downloaded and, they, and you can upload stuff obviously as well um I thought I had an account did I log in maybe I don't not sure we'll see I I thought I set up an account here but we'll just log in and see if that works otherwise it'll tell me I have to oh yeah no see I don't have an account I guess I don't hmm well anyways it doesn't really matter you don't really need to have an account I guess to download stuff on on splash let's just show you let's say you want to have you want to have a success tip right let's do that and it shows you images that have that text or not necessarily it's the images that have that see this is where I got my picture for my uh <clears throat> for my uh ebook right and I can just say this is just success let's say I just say successful people right success full people so now I can find an image that has you know something about success <clears throat> and whatever let's say I take one of these pictures I want to do something I can take this picture here and I can actually add stuff to it let's say I take I don't know here let's take this picture <clears throat> you can watch you see the whole thing you can download right there and you save it as an image of course it has the name of the person and everything in it so you probably want to keep that because that way if you never if you don't remember you can always go back by the image you have then I can go to say I go to Facebook <coughs> and I can post like in my case right I'm a, all about generating content that helps people to to build their fan base to to understand content to understand all this stuff so this makes sense to me for my audience to do this I can go here uh post a photo this photo that I just did right here and I can do something like this I can just say it's going to show me the picture here it's actually uploading it right now I'm just going to say I found this great pic on unsplash do you use unsplash to find images for your content <clears throat> okay so I'm just gonna do that right just like that I'm not gonna I could edit the image I could do things but right now I'll just post this like this to kind of say what I that I found this image on unsplash I'm not gonna put the link of unsplash.com because then it then it anyways Facebook doesn't like that so you I'm just going to say that we'll see if I get responses and replies right people commenting on it whatever and uh, so that's 
that's another thing another kind of content so this is images right if you do videos like I'm doing how do you find the topics to talk about like I said you do a Google search I mean it's just anything right so uh, how to build a business online right so if I just do that whoops clicked out the yes there if I'm interested in learning how to build a business online I can look this up I can look at all these different things other people how to start a business online three steps to create an online business that earns a thousand obviously that's what people are interested in if you look at the list of searches that come up it gives you a, lots of good idea trending online business ideas how to start an e-commerce business how to start a business online in five steps how to build an online business even if you have no idea let's look at that and this is just a blog post right a blog post that talks about how to build a business so you can look at this and you can kind of get ideas now if you're into something else <laughs> you know if you're into <laughs> network marketing how to get people to join your MLM right let's say you do that so let's there's a bunch of ads right obviously uh, MLM is so how to get people to join your network marketing business MLM tips how to attract more prospects <laughs> let's say your MLM online right specific to online noun powerful techniques for massive growth five ways to generate solid MLM leads <laughs> how to convince someone to join network marketing I mean it's not about convincing right we in network marketing we teach that it's not about convincing right how to convince this is uh, I was clueless about network marketing online how to convince someone to join right he talks about that where to find leads now obviously when you look through this you might find a video and you be like oh you start following this person whatever but the point is <clears throat> to find ideas for your content if you're in network marketing well what are other people doing in network marketing what are they promoting and you know one of the things that you have to remember is that it's not because it's not because you are um you know it's not because you're doing the same thing that somebody else is doing that it means that you're going to um it's uh what what am I trying to say it's not because somebody else is doing what you're doing that it means that you can't do it you can't say the same things that they're saying that's you can do that right um you can do the exact same thing as somebody else is doing just think about like advertising if I think about advertising right or if I think about advertising on face about um I don't know computers if I, I remember when I first started online um a long time ago when I was not online but I guess in computers I remember one of the things I really thought was amazing was the ads that Microsoft was doing I don't I didn't I don't think it's amazing from the sense that they're they're a better company or anything like that because their products are just software products they have problems like any other piece of software and but the th and maybe even more right but the point is that they would do ads on tv that's like in the 90s 95 or 98 or something right they would do ads on tv talking about stuff that we can do with their software with microsoft word for example that you can do with every other piece of software out there it doesn't matter you can do it with all the other pieces of software it's no different they would talk about cut and paste and in and YC wig and having your text the look show up the same as what it's on the printer I mean all the other pieces of software did that but they did ads about that because the people watching weren't necessarily people who knew computers so it's the same thing for you your audience even though you might be talking about the same thing that other people are talking about your audience might not will probably never seen that other person's content but they see your content because they're following you because they're in your audience because they're your fans so just don't worry about doing something that somebody else is already doing that's the point you gotta be doing things that everybody is doing because that's what works especially the ones that are like when you do a google search right I mean if you find these if you look at a google search for whatever your target market is whatever your audience is and again like I said make sure you get that that ebook the top the you know the, these 12 steps to your online success and make sure you go get that because that'll help you a lot to focus more on what it is that you need to to know before you can actually choose your content it doesn't you know whatever you whatever you post this content is going to be based on your audience it's going to be based on who your audience is right I mean it's not just 
it's not it doesn't you can find content 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 all the time right there's content 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 it's easy to find just like this right I can find pictures I can find images I can find I can create canva posts I mean so it's it's that's it's that simple that's all you got to do you just got to figure out what your audience wants and then produce content and when you don't know what to talk about you go search you go search just search for what your audience is interested in you got to know what their the who your audience is what they're interested in and then find the content and then post it that's it it's it's really really that simple all right so hopefully you enjoyed this and by the way here's the link again in case you uh, don't have it online success 12 steps.com go get your copy of the online uh, success uh, for entrepreneurs and just figure out what your target market is figure out what your content is go and get that ebook it's free and uh, if you have any questions of course reach out I'm here to help and have yourself a wonderful day we'll see you in the next episode this has been course income secrets the entrepreneur's blueprint to generating income from the e-learning boom. Some of your friends need to hear this message, so don't forget to share. For more content like this, go to CourseIncomeSecrets.com and make sure to subscribe and follow us here. My name is Jean-Serge Gagnon. Until next time.